can back it up. Close it, back it up. <laughs> okay, I have issues. Just ignore those. Hi friends, I am in the car. I'm out running errands, but I wanted to hop on here so I can finish this video for you. Today, I am sharing some behind the scenes of a shoot that I had last week and we used a lot of florals. So I wanted to share this with you just so you have some ideas on how to use flowers in your photo shoots and how you can pose with them and just some fun things. I'll do a voiceover to share like what I'm doing. Also, I will share the finished photos. And another thing is this video just has what I did with the florals, but we did actually a whole session with so many beautiful photos that I'm sharing over on Instagram. So if you wanna hop over there and see more of the photos you can, so something else that I wanted to ask you guys about. With the floral shoot, we did them with her wearing something just because, you know, this is YouTube, so I can't really share like any nudity. So, however, a lot of the posing that I do with florals is implied nude, and those are just so beautiful. However, I can't share that here. So, I've been pondering doing a OnlyFans page where I can share some of those things, like maybe doing some videos and sharing over there if you'd like to see this. So drop down below in the comments and let me know your thoughts on that. Would that be something that you would subscribe to or is it just too much and just you would rather just stay here and imagine what <laughs> those implied nudes would look like because I can't share them here, of course. So anyway, I just want to drop that out there. I am so grateful that you're here. I hope you enjoy this video. So let's go. You do things to me that I just can't describe. The way you say my name just makes me tremble. First of all, I do apologize that this little part right here is blurry. It will straighten out in just a few minutes or in a few moments. Um, anyway, I wanted to include this part because I want it for anyone that hasn't seen my channel before to see that I do show all of my clients the exact pose that I want them to do. And the reason I do this is because it's so much more helpful to the client. It makes them more confident. They can see the pose instead of you just telling them what to do. This is so much more helpful. And yes, gentlemen, this means you too. You can hop on the bed show them the pose it's just gonna help them relax and feel more confident in doing the pose for you and you can see here that even though I showed her the pose I still have to give her direction on how to follow through and do the pose the way that I want it and that's common so just know that you're gonna have to direct them either way but it is still helpful to show them the pose so here i am shooting with the flowers in my foreground and i'll show you what that looks like here in just a second I am just changing my direction. Once I have my clients posed, I try to shoot them from all different angles. That way I can have a huge variety of images and you can stay up, see I am still shooting with the flowers in the foreground. For this session we used fake flowers or silk flowers so you can't do as much with silk flowers as you can with real flowers just because with the silk flowers you have to hide the stems because they obviously look really fake 
However, with real flowers, there's so many options and so many things that you can do. You can definitely show the ends. You can have them hold just one or two for different options. And then um, after, usually if I'm using real flowers towards the end of the shoot, I will take the real flowers and break them up into petals and kind of throw them all around them and do different poses this way. And that's a really beautiful shot. So you can see some of the photos like this on my website and also on my Instagram. When you're shooting with props, flowers, or anything like this, don't forget to do tighter and detail shots as well. This pose with flowers is one of my favorites to do as a tasteful nude. So for this um, part of the video, you'll just have to envision what this would look like as a tasteful nude since she's wearing something. But it also works great with lingerie too, of course. But it is really beautiful without anything at all underneath. So this would be a great shot to do with your clients as a tasteful nude. Right here I was shooting from above and I decided to have her move in a little closer on the bed just so I could have a better angle because I wasn't loving how it looked with her on the edge of the bed because it was including the carpet. But anyway, you'll see I have her scooch over and just keep that in mind when you have somebody posed. You might need to readjust them a little bit. So don't try to just stick with a pose because they're in it and you're shooting around. Move them if you need to. I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. If you ever have to go over to your client and fix their hair, fix their clothing, or touch them to help them figure out the position to put their hands in, their legs in, their feet in, or whatever it is that you're touching, make sure you ask them permission first. This is just really important to keep their confidence level high and also just to make the situation not feel creepy. So definitely ask permission. Here's an example of a standing pose using the flowers. This one's just very simple, but I think it turned out really pretty and elegant.
Here's another simple pose using the flowers. We did do a similar pose a little bit later, just using one of the flowers out of this bouquet that looked really pretty. Um, it was a bit more risque, so that's why it's not included in the video, but you can see it if you hop over to my Instagram. So thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate you being here. And if you are new here, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button because it helps me with the algorithm. And I really appreciate you for doing that. Um, another thing is I will post my Instagram right here and also down in the description a link that you can just click on to go see my work over there, get some inspiration. And if you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. I do try to answer every question. So I would love for you to be a part of this community and where we help each other out, chat, do all kinds of fun stuff. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for stopping by today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. And the next time you hear from me, I will be in Europe. Woohoo! See you later. Bye. Hello, darlings. You like my shades? <laughs> oh my goodness. I have so much to do and I don't have any time to do it. But I'm getting it done. I'm packing. I'm doing stuff. I got all my stuff to do. So if you want to see... Oh, this is my kitchen, by the way. Isn't it cute? Oh, oh, okay. This is my kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. I'm full circle. <laughs> How sad. Okay, gotta go. Bye.